All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. My voice is wrong today. All right, so I'm going to try to do the shortest video ever possible while still um, giving you something that you may not know. And it's pretty cool and it's amazingly um, useful, right? As usual. So uh, what we have here is a mega scan surface, all right? I apply it to, you know, the usual floor uh, and now I want to change, you know, the, the tiling, right? To make it a little bit more big and spread, right? Because I don't want to look at this repetition here. But then, you know, it will, you know, I, I could go like right here, open the material instance, right? And I could go, you know, um, and change the tiling. But what if, what if I have these surface anywhere else in any other on other level right um what might happen if i change this maybe i i'm going to be botching and you know uh, damaging a lot of my work so should i risk it should i create another material instance for you know this um master material uh well n don't fear because there is a very uh, easy way to work safely and it's very useful let me show you so um Let's close for now this material instance, right? And um, when you check your uh, materials, uh, you're going to see that if it happens to be a material instance, you now have this create dynamic material underneath, right? Um, and this will happen again for any uh, material instance that you have, you know, in any actor on your scene, right? So what if I go and click and create a new dynamic material? Oh, look at that. Now I have the ability to change some, but not all of the different, you know, attributes that this material has. But why I don't have access to everything? Well, that's very easy. Uh, I'm going to revert it and I'm going to open, you know, the material instance to edit it just a bit. Everything that is going to appear here to be able to be, you know, um, customized by actor, right? um needs to be override first right if you don't have the actual override we were watching this three this three because they do have an override to it but now i know that we need an override on the tiling right so i'm going to just click override i'm not going to change anything in the particular uh, material instance and i'm going to save it and i'm going to close it right and now if I go and again create a dynamic instance, you're going to see that I do have now access to this. And now I can go 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And now I have, you know, very big, um, that still tiled, but not as, you know, apparent, right? And I could keep, you know, adding those stuff, right? Um, even without this. So if I double click here and I go there, right? And now I want to also um set the normal strength a little bit higher right i'm going to save this now i can close it and it won't appear here and that is simply because you know um this material was made when it you know th the normal was not added but all you need to do you know is to simply revert it recreate it and now you're going to have a uh, detail normal amount and also the tiling so we can change the tiling again 0.5 0.5 and now we can play with the detail normal and whatever I'm doing here um, it will just happen on this actor right let me just show you what I mean by that so I have a couple of these rocks here and um, this is one rock right this is one asset this is another asset and this is you know uh, the same rock asset multiply it three times and there are the same ones here right uh, so this works almost good here, right? But these ones, yeah, they're not, you know, very well blended, right? So this one should be more like ochre, like this one. Well, I can, first of all, try and see if I do have, uh, for any reason, uh, the, um, um, the tint um, exposed or with the override, and I don't. So that's all right. I can revert. I can open this material instance. I can go to the albedo and turn on the tint, uh, the overwrite for the tint. I save it, close it, and I go here, create a dynamic material, 
And now I can um, go to the LV the tint and give it just, you know, a little bit of a reddish color, right? Uh huh. Something like this, maybe. All right. And I forgot that I will need also, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. I will need also to enable the amount of the tint also. And let's keep it zero. But just save. And now let's close both, right? But sadly, because, you know, I forgot to do that, I will have to revert, create it again. Now I can set the actual tint to be, you know, one. And now I can tint it. Now you can see that I can give it a tint to just this one, right? Which is amazing, right? Because now I can, you know, grab this one and create a copy of it. And it will, you know, copy with the actual um, material instance, dynamic material instance, right? But at any point, I can go and bring a new one. And that one is going to still has, have the original color, right? So this is hugely amazing, right? Remember, it needs to be a material instance and it needs to have the overrides turns on. That's all. And you're going to have a per actor change on the material. So this is going to be wonderful if you want to, you know, um, have like, the same asset, but with different tints or the same asset with different tilings, uh, you know, to create more organic feelings and more, uh, you know, different uh, differentiation between the same actor. All right. So uh, that's all my voice is going to be able to do today. So I will thank you all. And, you know, the drill. Uh, be good. I love you all. And I catch you on the next one. Bye.